Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna see unit six. That is assessment and management of normal neonate. First of all, what is neonate baby? The baby that is around one month baby. For example, if the baby is born today, for next twenty one days or around one month, the baby is known as neonate baby. And from this chapter, you will get seven marks. That is. One question for five marks and one question for two marks. In total, you will get seven marks if you read this chapter. The first topic that we are going to see is physiological adaptation. That is how the baby changes itself in a physical way. Inside the womb, the environment will be another. Outside the womb, the environment will be another. How the baby will get adapted to it? How the baby will get changed to it? We will see in this chapter. And the first thing that you are going to see is respiratory. Do remember, inside the womb, the baby doesn't breathe. The lungs doesn't work mechanically. So after the birth of the baby, the baby's actual respiratory system will function. So for that, the first cry is very important. The baby should cry loudly as possible so that the lungs should start to work. If the baby is not able to cry properly, then there is a problem. And mostly, if there is a, any problem in the respiratory system. It will be indicated in the form of cyanosis, that is bluish discoloration of the extremities. At the birth, the respiratory rate of the baby will be twice, and gradually it will get to the normal. And the respiratory rate will be around from forty to sixty beats per minute. Circulatory changes are the changes that occurs in the heart. After the birth, there are few passages in our heart which gets blocked. We will see that in the picture. Inside the womb, the baby's circulatory system is quite different. There will be a hole or the passage between the right atrium and left atrium, and this passage was known as foramen ovale. And after the birth, at the time of first cry, this hole gets closed. This is the first change in the heart. And second, if you see, there is a connection between Aorta and this pulmonary artery, which is known as ductus atherosclerosis, and this connection get closes after the birth. After getting closed, it is known as ligamentous atherosclerosis. And if you see this downwards inferior venal cava, it passes near the liver and inside the stomach, that is inside the womb. This inferior venal cava will have connection with liver, and this connection was known as ductus venous. After the birth, this ductus venous get closes, get, and this is known as ligamentous venous. Another change is this attachment of umbilicals. Totally, we have five changes. First is foramen ovale get closes. Second is ductus atherosclerosis get changes to ligaments atherosclerosis, and next a connection between the inferior venal cava and the liver, which is known as ductus venous, get converts into ligaments venous, and uh, umbilical cord get disparted, and uh, there we have veins and arteries which gets closed. These are the changes in the circulatory system after the birth. Heart rate will be around one twenty to one sixty per minute, and BP will be around eighty to eighty five by fifty to fifty five mmHg. This is the normal one, and if there is any problem in the circulatory system, it will be in the form of jaundice, like the GI system, and the baby's GI system is very moist, pink, and it's very sensitive. The bowel pattern, that is, uh, the stool will be passed within one hour after the birth. So this first stool is known as meconium, and this meconium consists of bile, fatty acids, epithelial, and this meconium you can see that for first one to three days, this meconium will be passing out in the form of stool. And do remember. Soon after the birth, we will feed the baby, but till for two days, three days, the meconium will be passing. After two to three days, the breast milk stool will come out, and this stool will be in the form of loosely and bright yellow color. The cardiac sphincter of the baby is very weak, 
there is a chance of regurgitation that is there is a chance of vomiting then the baby is feeded the mother takes the baby on the shoulder or the mother makes the baby to sleep backward and tab the baby's spine so that the milk which the baby took will get into the stomach will not come out thermal regulatory system that is after the birth there is a chance that baby's temperature will get too low that is the risk of hypothermia because inside the womb the temperature will be more high that is uh, it will be warm inside the womb but when the baby comes out the environment is very cold that there is a risk of hypothermia musculoskeletal system in this system you'll see about the bones and do remember at the time of birth the bones are not so strong even a minor mistake can cause to bone defect or bone damage and uh, the very very most important thing is anterior and posterior fontanelle this both will be open at the time of birth as the days pass it keeps on closing renal system in this system you can see gfr is low in the sense urine output is very low and the urine output can be seen in a baby within 24 hours after the birth next immunological system in this system igg iga igm this three is very very important igg can cross the placenta barrier in the sense igg can go and reach the baby by going through the placenta it can cross the placenta whereas iga and igm can't cross the placenta it doesn't go uh, it doesn't cross the placenta barrier it stays outside it gets into the baby in other form and this three that is igg iga igm which is available to the baby when it is present in the womb is not available to the baby after the birth from the mother okay this is the change that is seen in immunological system the immunity that is available from mother to baby is through breast milk and this immunity is known as passive immunity reproductive system only primordial follicles that is primary sex organ will be present at the time of puberty around after that the secondary sex organ will start to develop next neurological system this is very important first blink reflex in the sense if you place a light in front of eyes of the baby the baby blinks or try to close its eyes that is blink reflex next corneal reflex if you place any object close to its eye mainly it is performed with the cotton that cotton will be placed above the eyes when the cotton is nearing to its eyes the baby closes its eyes that is corneal reflex next rooting reflex you place your finger at the tip of the lip it will turn to that direction that is rooting reflex next palmer grass reflex if you place your finger or any object in the palm of the baby the baby holds it and grabs it tightly that is palmer gra grasp reflex next traction reflex in this reflex if you make the baby to sit by holding its wrist that is by holding its hand if you make the baby to sit straightly since the baby doesn't have control over its head okay the neck will not be under the control of the baby so at the beginning when you make to sit the baby the head will be backwards lying down lying backwards and then it becomes uh, the baby try to make its head straight but there is no control over the neck so the head doesn't stand straight it falls forward that is the head falls forward on the chest when the baby is trying to hold its head this action is known as traction reflex swallowing reflex if you place the food or the milk uh, in the posterior part of the mouth the baby swallows it that is swallowing reflex extrusion reflex that is nothing but if you place anything in the tip of the mouth the baby split it out that is extrusion reflex next stepping reflex if you make the baby to stand straight the baby tries to walk the baby try to take step forward that is stepping reflex in all together these are the physiological changes or physiological adaptation
questions will be provided at the end of the chapter until then stay tuned bye